Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading for December 1st to the 8th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to jump right into it. This is a week. This is a week, and there's a lot of things I didn't talk about in your week, uh, your monthly forecast last week, so I'm going to bring them up now, but it, clearly the big week, the new moon in Sagittarius, the first of two new moons that we have this month, all right? So this is happening on December 1st. I love it. Okay. You get to set the tone of this month for you. This new Miss Sagittarius is big for you. It's in your eighth house. Okay. So big money matters here. Uh, business stuff probably happening for you. Love, a lot of love stuff actually with this week. You see how active Venus is. Um, so this new moon, like I said, your monthly forecast, it's harmonizing with the sun and the moon. It's so optimistic. It's so fun. It's Jupiter ruled. So there's a lot of seeking wisdom, a lot of travel uh, that's going to be likely um, risk taking, take risks, right? With with this, okay? If you're not traveling, travel of the mind. But remember, at the end of the day, any like it's it's all about the big picture, right? With the Sagittarius energy. And don't forget, Mercury is retrograde in Sagittarius as well. Okay, so a lot of what this new moon is going to be, a lot of y'all may be thinking, rethinking, reassessing things uh, for what you want for your future. Okay, so I wouldn't even be surprised if there are some things you've reconsidered or maybe things from the past that have come up, circumstances, people or, or whatnot that are maybe looped into this new moon for you. It's, you know, quite possible, but, you know, it is very like bad. Back to the future kind of but either way you're paving your way really nice mutable energy here now if you are a cross watcher if you watch for your rising your moon for your you know partner your you know daughter whoever it is your you know pet goat it doesn't matter uh all fire signs, by the way, okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really, really going to feel this strongly, mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius, yes, really going to feel the effects of this new moon that plays out for, it's a six-month cycle, right, so, um, but you're going to feel it for the first, like, week, two weeks, really strong energy there. Every sign is going to feel it, by the way, it's just, you know, these signs that I mentioned, like, it's just, they get a little bit more... Uh, so, and also don't forget, I, I mentioned, what do you want to reap, right? What is the harvest that you want, that you want greeting you when we get to June 20 to 25 for the amazing corresponding full moon that we're going to have then, right? So give yourself something to look forward to, uh, set intentions, plant seeds. Now, Monday, December 2nd, Ooh, you're going to love this. Ah, oh, I, I think I mentioned that. So Venus is going to train Uranus. Uranus is in your sign, Taurus, Venus is your ruling planet. So who's going to feel this the most? That's going to be you. And it comes right after this new moon. So Uranus, which brings the unexpected surprises, progress, breakthroughs, right? Uh, if you're in a relationship, yeah, you got some really fun, surprising moments, okay? Your, you know, partner could uh, take you out on a, you know, really fun, you know, walk on the beach, whatever it is, whatever you want. Uh, but if you are single, hey, Amazing. Okay. Now, if you're in a relationship, what I meant to also say is that do something new. You're going to feel compelled to do something new around this time, something unique, you know, with Uranus in the mix here. Do something very different. It's going to be really nice. Okay. Now, uh, what I was going to say, if you are single, yeah, this is your sliding doors moment. This is huge in terms of meeting someone new. Really, really, really big. Okay. Because don't forget, at this point, Venus is still in Sagittarius. Uh, wait, no, Venus is in Capricorn. All right. So that's that's really great. That's our ninth house. Again, there's some travel vibes here. There's a lot of like, um, you know, being open minded to it's 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 vibrating with the Sagittarius energy because Sagittarius is ruler of the ninth house. So I really like this for you. There's going to be some nice surprises really in terms of things that bring you pleasure as well. If you're not here for relationships, um, things that bring you pleasure, creative breakthroughs, but also money. Venus is money, right? Uranus is in your sign. You're a financial sign. So this is just not a boring aspect. OK, now we are not going to have this again for uh, until October 2025. Please take advantage, right? Now, Wednesday, December 4th, we have Mercury opposite Jupiter. You know, again, we've had this. I, is it even on the whiteboard? I don't even think I wrote it. I don't think I... Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, we've had this a couple times. Don't worry about it. It's just like something may inspire you to see in a different way. It's also saying, like, don't be overly, like... Um, extravagant, et cetera, uh, you're going to be fine. All right. Now, the big thing, though, is the sun square Saturn on this day. So I talk about this um, 
I talked a lot about this in your, uh, well, the Saturn squares, right? Your monthly forecast. Not going to spend too much time here. Just you're going to start feeling a little bit of a squeeze around here. And it may be with a friend. It may be with a, f a group that you belong to, community you belong to, that may be testing you in some way or testing your belief system. Um, it's just not, you know, remember, always vibe at a high frequency. You're going to be fine. Like Saturn's, Sun and Sagittarius is so fun, right? Saturn, however, is just like, nope. Not today, right? So kind of like taking away a little bit of that fun, but um, something here just maybe a, you may feel a little bit of squeeze because it you're going to feel it for a while. And then Mars is going retrograde and then Mercury is retrograde. You see Mercury is going to score Saturn. So just be mindful. Always be responsive, not reactive. Saturn is karma. Remember, Saturn's going to test you a little bit gonna reward you you pass this test okay the other thing is saturn is authority so it could be a boss it could be a father it could be a father figure it could be any of that all right so just be mindful all right by the way worldly a lot of world leaders have sun square saturn in their chart okay or have had it right they are world leaders for a reason okay you get this twice a year they have it their entire life all right so it's all about rising above you learn how to rise above remember i always say use these energies don't let them use you okay now venus exile neptune the same day beautiful absolutely amazing you are gonna this is creativity imagination the arts very spiritual very spiritual you're gonna love this um especially because you uh, you know neptune is in your 11th house your hopes your wishes your dreams if just feel inspired with this and it's a really nice boost because the day after uh thursday december 5th we've got a mercury kazemi so holy cow Get out your notebook, okay? Your vision boards, whatever it is, you're gonna be a fountain of ideas. It's happening in Sagittarius. Uh, this is that refresh of the mind when Mercury is in the heart of the sun. Think about the alignment, okay? So wisdom, freedom, big picture, fresh perspectives, but there's definitely something here with love, relationships, uh, money matters as well, all right? Even sex for y'all, just to be honest, there may be something here, all right? Now, Friday, December 6th, Mercury will square Saturn. Um, just try not to make like bold, like strong agreements around this time and try not to like overthink things. Again, Saturn is just going to be a little, mm. and you may even find communication around this time. You may be just hitting a little bit of a brick ball, brick wall with an authority with Saturn here. Also remember Mercury is retrograde, so can bring miscommunication. So just be mindful. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Go with the flow flow with the go okay sagittarius season this new moon it's all fun it's all, all, all it's all about optimism so continue to vibrate at that high frequency attract what you deserve right do this especially with mars going retrograde you got these squares you've got mercury retrograde so there are some energies that can test you on this new journey right with this new moon this new beginning okay so don't let anything or anyone take away your power Never let that happen, okay? Let your light shine. All right. You 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 everyone has a choice, right? You have a choice. Choose to radiate. Okay. Just you're gonna be fine. Now you see Venus moving into Aquarius and Mars going retrograde, right? Venus in Aquarius has uh, amazing. All right. Again, I talk about this in your monthly forecast. You can watch it from last week or you already watched it. So uh, it's going to be here all month long. Venus, your ruling planet in Aquarius fellow fixed sign here. This is great. OK, really, really nice. I love this. OK, fun, quirky. It's very different. Marching to your own drum beat. Very social, very social for y'all. It's definitely going to be a lot of like career stuff right? It's your 10th house, career, fame, public recognition, honors, achievements, social status, leadership, but creating these visions for your future. Remember, Christ is the future, right? So very nice. And then Mars going retrograde. And 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 again, uh, you have a lot of career stuff happening. Now, Mars retrograde, uh, here we are, right? For the rest of the month, Mars does not like being retrograde. Mars, you don't have his energy. Okay, you can't go to Mars at this point and be like, hey, Mars, can you do can you help me out with this mars he didn't have any energy okay he's the jack reacher you know whatever it is you know the action hero that's you know now he's been caught <laughs> all right he's been knocked out <laughs> and he's gonna you know wake up soon he's gonna wake up soon and then save the day or whatever but just for now for this month just you know doesn't have any energy so again take things slow and steady this is going to bring some delays especially in the home environment remember mars can heighten emotion in Le retrograde leo heightened egos, 
power trips, power struggles. Just keep that in mind. Now, Saturday, Venus conjuncting Pluto. Oh, my diddly days. This is huge, huge. Okay. Remember, Venus and Pluto both in Aquarius now. All right. Aquarius is, is here for 19 years. This is happening at zero degrees. The Aquarius is just getting started, by the way. Remember the future humanity. This is humanity, radical energy, revolutionary. This is empowerment. Use it. Okay. Pave your path forward. So this aspect, Venus conjuncting Pluto, this is power. This is sexy. This is sexy power. This is intensity, passion. A lot of passion here with intense passion, right? With relationships, deep connections here, almost, you know, even stimulating energy, deeply profound here. Things that you value, right? Things that you value, things you desire. There's an intensity here. Now, if you are single, this is the day that you are going to, re or this week, actually, you're going to feel you want that electric connection with someone. All right. Pluto is transformation too. You're going to feel it. All right. The other thing is you could fall in love with someone around this time. Let this conjunction play out. I mean, like you're going to feel this for a while. All right. So feel this depth intensity and move with it. Right. Um, there's something here, by the way, if you're not here for love relationships, there's something here with career for you. Again, Aquarius rules your 10th house. There could be something here really big. All right. Now, if you're not here for career, if you are retired, if there's, you know, it's just whatever ex you're exerting your energy that you want to be known for, or just like a really deep passion of yours. Now, money could be a big thing. Okay. We're talking about Venus and Pluto. Money could be a really big thing here. Very transformative, creative energy, really big, major self-expression. Let your whatever flag fly. This is Aquarius, right? The unique, the rebel, right? A lot of power of the mind too. This is, Pluto has that depth, all right? So again, just love, money, creativity, all on the table here, and so much power here, all right? So we do not have this aspect at all next year, not until 2026. Use it now, all right, Taurus? Now, Sun opposite Jupiter, I don't mind this, you know, it's just really, you know, uh, managing expectations, right? Now, Neptune goes direct. Again, I talked about this in your monthly forecast last week. So uh, that is really great. Imagination to a whole other level, especially you're going to be thinking about your future a lot. Dreams, right? Neptune, dreams, dreaming big, speaking all of that into existence. I love this. All right. So feeling very inspired around this time. Let's see what's going on for you, Taurus, for December 1st to the 8th, the first week of December for Taurus, Taurus rising and Taurus moon. All right, Taurus. Wow. 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 Y'all look great. What do y'all what what you what you look amazing. Your hair looks great. Everything looks great, Taurus. Y'all are amazing. Well, you're ruled by Venus. Of course you do. Of course you look great. You always look great. Uh I do a traditional cult across spread. <laughs> Give us the best overview, especially for a weekly reading. And if we need to pull clarifiers, you know that we will. Secondly, Taurus, you know that I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Thanks so much for being here. Let's let's break it down. Let's get started. Look at all this power. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my diddly days. How is this even possible? Look at that. I'm going to do that in a curve. That looks cool. Look at that. Look at that. I like that. It's like an eyebrow okay so uh listen look you know what yeah sure you got the three of swords here sure you did but you got all these court cards i mean oh when i talk about empowerment power you like really stepping into that oh my goodness this is it uh, three of the wands right your ambitions your passions like creative energy that i mentioned and when i say creative energy Break that word down, right? Create, right? Creation. You have a new moon. I mean, this, boom, this is big. Let's get started. You got the king of wands. You got the pair. Let's just go with the pair. You got the king and the queen. Now, difference between the king and the queen, right? The king, their powers are more external, right? Their energies are more external, whereas the queens are more internal. Kings are more like society-based, right? So anyway, you've got the pair here. So, Wow. You got the Queen of Wands in the heart of your spread, but let's start with the King of Wands. This is epitome of fire. This is feeling that passion. You're going to feel passionate this week, okay? On a whole other level, especially Sagittarius season, right? And this new moon in Sagittarius. Again, I said that's in your eighth house. That's passion. 
That's a whole lot of passion. Use it, okay? Use it. A lot of y'all are going to be feeling on top of the world. You're going to be feeling really good. This is very entrepreneurial. If you are here for work, remember all this Aquarius energy and your 10th house of career is going to be big, okay? Really big. You got these big aspects, all right? So, uh, yeah, you got the, you know, Queen of Wands, big entrepreneur as well. Um, she can is she can attract whatever she wants. She's that type of person, okay? People gravitate toward her. Anything she wants, anything she wants. You know, she's very regal, very charismatic. Uh, I love this energy for you. She's in touch with her shadow side. She knows who she is. She's confident. She's oozing confidence. Wow, this is huge. This is really big. Okay, love this. You got you got a lot to look forward to. It just almost seems like people are gonna see you as this big like force to be reckoned with too use that energy oh my goodness uh and you're probably going through some transformation by the way uh you do have that three of swords in your challenge area i don't mind it there is something here where um you could have this week you maybe experience something that could have this emotional impact on you maybe something is ending well it's a new moon right and you did have that big full moon that big full moon in your sign you know a few weeks ago so yeah maybe you're uh uh, something it did end. It had an it had an emotional impact on you, but look at your entire spread here. It's like this is more like okay, I'm healing from this now. I'm healing from this. I'm moving on. All right, because it's putting my head in this space where I just I got things to do. People look up to me. People rely on me. That's that's where you're at. Okay. So I love this for you. All right. You even got the tower, right? And in, in the heart of your spread, your monthly forecast, there still could be something like, ah, right. So, um, I actually don't mind it and it could be something work related actually, or even with a colleague or a boss, or there could be something here, but you are rising about, you got the page of wands in your crown. Yeah. You want something new. Okay. There's something that you're seeking, but again, I'm already getting the impression that a lot of y'all are moving into this new place in your life. If not, you have a new moon manifest set intentions put your energy there put your energy in what you want that's what he's doing look at him he's look at his intense gaze at this wand right this invigorating look at his both hands on the wand like he's not letting that go he's turning it into something right turning it into something and he's really passionate about it wants to transform his life one day one day he wants he's like i want to be the king of wands, right? And he will, okay? So continue to move forward. The things that you want to launch. You got the knight of pentacles as well in the rudier spreads. Yeah, there could be this consistency, this sense of longevity, right? Something happening in your in your world that you're now, you're like, okay, I'm getting serious about this, but I'm taking things slow and steady. I have that patience because I know the things that I want are going to happen, okay? I'm moving toward that. And this is all about longevity, right? This is all about, um, you may see the oak trees. Well, like you see the oak trees all the way in the back here. So you see the leaves on his, on his helmet from that oak tree. So it's all about that longevity, right? This is someone who's diligent. He's patient. He's sown his seeds, going to reap his rewards. He's in it for the long haul. All right. So I like this. Okay. So finances, big thing for you, but pentacles, again, your physical reality, there could be something here in your physical world that you're excited about. Okay. That you're, you're happy that it's stabilizing. Yeah. Page of cups in your future. Yeah. Yeah. Something's coming through. Uh, it could be a message too. I would pay attention to like your intuition it could be an intuitive message or it could be something that like really awakens you really. You're like, okay, this is, I know this big dream of mine. I'm going to follow it. I'm following my bliss now. This is, uh, uh, really special here. Okay. This is really special. But again, you have all this creative energy. You even see the fish, you know, creativity popping itself out of that cup here. You see him look at that fish, right? So uh, those surprising moments that you may get, especially with that Mercury Kazemi, there could even be, you know, a lot, like, again, with Venus being very active as well, that creative energy, there may be some sort of spark. Again, create, right? Create. But pages are not only the messengers, but it's so a message coming through, right? But they're also like, think about like turning the page, right? In a book, like there's something new. 
that you're moving into or something new coming into your life that's really nice and it can have to do with love relationships could be a partner there's something here something here really exciting really really exciting all these wands too let's get to your stuff oh my goodness and you know there's so much creative energy with wands as well um again they're just so lively so I, I love this i mean all quartz look at that that's crazy um taurus uh if you like this reading by the way be great if you like subscribe leave comments you know i appreciate it And you know, I love y'all. And uh, well, I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, tell me what's going on. Leave comments. Like, I love, tell me what's going on. What, what's going on in your world? Keep keep me posted. All right, let's 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 see what's going on. Oh, my God. Okay, this has got to be, okay, I just, this has got to be, ah, you're bad. Okay, you're good. You're absolutely good here. And you know it. You know it. I can't even believe this. This is, this is crazy. Okay. Um. Wow, you're you're really good here. I mean, this is like legendary. You got the five of wands, right? So the first message coming through is like, yep, yeah, get out of your head. There's, you know, like I said, Mars retrograde in Leo, competitive energy, right? Someone taking your spotlight that gets you a little, right? And you got a big spotlight this week, okay? You got a big spotlight. Just remember, be responsive, not reactive. This card is all about what can I do to rise above this and have everyone see eye to eye, right? There could be something with children here. It is just kids swinging their wands in the air. And this actually is a Leo card. So, you know, the fact that Mars is retrograde in Leo, keep that in mind. That's in your fourth house, by the way. So a lot of home matters, domestic matters, children, right? Significant other. Just a little moment where you may not be seeing eye to eye, but um, in your physical world, there could just be a little bit of... Mm, Right. Um, you remember you also have like career stuff, so it may be a colleague, but I it, it really is more likely just being in your head about something. Um, or a chat like if you have like children, grandchildren, things like that. Maybe even if you're a teacher, like students or whatnot. Anyway, colleagues that work underneath uh, you know, like people that work under you anyway, you get what I'm saying. Just see eye to eye. Now the sun, there you go, boom, blasting all this abundance, opportunity vitality growth uh, optimism all of that all of that into your life this week i can't even believe this in your external factors area that is absolutely amazing this is absolutely amazing what you know the sun is the biggest yes in tarot and it's coming with the page of cups go for it go for it take those risks it's speaking of rising above that's what you want you got the six of wands this is victory this is success this is taking those inspired actions to get that recognition that you deserve, Taurus. I, I can't even believe this. So remember what I said. Don't be your own enemy in the, with that five of wands. But also, if there's anything happening in the physical world, rise above it. This is all about eminence. You're getting it. Look at all these. Look at all this. I can't even believe. And then look at your final outcome. I mean, you have the two, two of cups. Like, who are you? Who are you? The, like... Insane, insane. Okay, so uh, there you go. You're fine. This is what we call the true love card. Listen, you see the winged lion here, by the way. All that passion that I was talking about this week. All that passion. And then you got the two people here. This is two souls inhabiting one body, right? Merge. Uh, the, absolutely amazing. This is what we call the true love card, twin flame card, in, in layman's terms, right? Soulmate card, things like that. So it can be platonic by the way it it absolutely can be platonic it can be also love and relationships as you know it is the two of cups right and there is a sense of a new one that's coming through brewing there could even be healing in one right um but with the fact that you got the two of cups and the page of cups in your future yeah if you are single if you do not go out there if you not Put yourself out there. If you don't go to the bowling alleys, the observatories, if you don't go to the, you know, deli down the street, you never know. You never, you, you're going to miss those Uranus aspects. You're going to miss all those aspects. Put yourself out there. Okay. Or I'm coming over. We're going to go through your Tinder. Okay. We'll swipe together. Put yourself out there. All right. If you're in a relationship, wow, things are like, it's like, this is it. Soulmate forever. Like, really nice. Okay. Again, there is also like new BFF energy, maybe joining creatively with someone creative forces okay maybe even like work related but 
big partnership energy. I love this. A lot of, again, like you're, uh, you're healing, right? You're healing. Okay. There's something here where you're recognizing it. Um, especially, you know, with that three swords, you're in challenger, but you got that two of cups, you got that page of cups, you got this, you got, you're going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. Um, that's a lot of wands too, by the way. I mean, this is all passion. Okay. Spotlight, optimism, abundance, big life force energy. You see the banner here. That's a lot of achievement as well. I mean, like you're, you're good with that six and ones. I don't even like, I would, you're, this is one of your best week. I'd be like, I don't even, you know, speech, I've speech, like what are your best weekly readings? Like this is, this is it. Like this is rare. You know, this is rare. All right. So Taurus, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this reading, uh, it would be great if you like subscribe, leave comments next week. Um, there's really not a lot of big aspects happening next week. And because I'm going away for, you know, Thanksgiving, I'll be taking some time off. Um, I, I might post your month, your annual, your 2025 forecast. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. I, you know, Mercury's re well, I, I'm not going to pay. You know what? Let's just, I'm going to let you go. Let me just let you go. Uh, Taurus. Thanks so much. I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye-bye. And you're good. You're absolutely good. All right. I love y'all. Bye.